I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com and I'm here in New York City for NAREIT's REIT Week 2012. Joining me is Ed Pettinella, the President and CEO of Home Properties. So Ed, we've talked a, a, a number of times and your company focuses on, on the B and C market and has a very successful track record of, of targeting these properties and then refurbishing them and, and, and up, upscaling the, uh, the value of these assets. Uh, multifamily is obviously going through a, a strong run right now. H have you found it difficult to, to f find and acquire these properties as, as capital is coming in, or, or is the B and C segment maybe separated a little bit? I think it's separated. Uh, for us, we've always been, uh, of the 12 of us that are public, uh, one of the largest uh, acquirers of C and B properties, C in particular. I would say it is not any more difficult. As a matter of fact, I would say it's probably better for us in the last Two years, we did about 840 million. We usually average maybe 240, 240 million. So uh, on average, we're doing more. I think the A is the most difficult to acquire today. B next and then C would be third. Mainly because uh, along the East Coast where we're, we're headquartered, there just is not as many big rehab players like we, we are. So when we go to compete, we run the numbers uh, with all the rehab components, we can drive a lot higher yield and be competitive in the bidding process. This year is another good example. We've told the world through guidance, two to three hundred million. We'll probably be above the upper end of that at this point through through early June. So uh, we're not seeing it more difficult. There are a few more players, but not to the level that there are in the A uh, environment, A quality environment. So. Uh, I think it's a good good space for us and we're able to pretty much uh, get the types of deals that we want. And in March, Home Properties launched a, a mobile site for, for renters. What percentage of your interaction now with tenants and prospective tenants is done either through mobile site or, or social media and, and sure. what, what challenges has that created? The mobile website we you're speaking to, we launched in March, that was focused almost entirely on prospective residents. That's working great. Uh, it's a market, uh, the, the technology moves so fast, we're trying to stay up with it. But about 17% of our website folks are coming in through the mobile source. Last year it was 9%, so it's working. Uh, the type of customer that we get through the mobile website is, is good, meaning they're qualified and they're interested. They either 30% of them come in for uh, a visit, they come in to see a specific apartment, and in our business, a 30% hit rate, which we're getting in this segment, is very, is very, very strong. The opportunities uh, for us, uh, this mobile uh, website, one thing we're doing that's unique, if you come, come into us through the mobile phone, we'll ask you uh, what your location is, and then we'll pump back to you where all the home property uh, uh, sites are so that we make it easier for you and we can keep home properties at top of mind while you're out there uh, looking for an apartment to rent. And, and your company also recently launched an at-the-market equity offering program. Uh, what was the, the, the reason behind launching that and, and what are you uh, targeting the proceeds of that for? Well, we've launched a few of those. Uh, I would say there's been a major proliferation of ATM uh, programs over the past few years. It's kind of a godsend for our sector because the alternative would be to do an overnight. The overnight equity raise is more expensive, but it's instant gratification. You get all of your equity capital in a very short period of time. The ATM is more of a trickle approach, uh, but it works well for us for multiple reasons. One, we're a major rehabber that we talked about earlier, and it can help fund that through the course of the year. Second is development. When we have a ne the next draw uh, in what we're building, we can use the ATM. And last but not least, we mentioned that we're a large uh, acquirer of, of, of new assets and properties, so we use the ATM for that purpose. So it's a, a general purpose fund, but how we look at it, it's another tool on the capital market shelf. We use unsecured debt, we use secure debt, we use various forms of common and preferred, but for any given moment in time when the market's uh, telling us to use the ATM, we will utilize that tool, and it works well for us. Ed, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Matt. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.